Hey y'all, out here it's uh, Steve Holcomb, Pro Auto Custom Interiors. And uh, he's got Campbell's 57 Chevy done, the one that's uh, gray with red stripes. Talk about rocking an interior, man. This turned out way cool. So anyway, Steve's here obviously to tell me about it, but so is uh, Mr. Campbell. He's going to tell us some of the modifications he made to the car. And uh, anyways, let me run them two down and uh, I'll have him tell us about it. Steve, how are you, brother? I'm doing good, Scotty. How you doing? Not too bad. Glad you uh, got this one finished. I'm glad I got it finished, too. Mr. Campbell, how are you, sir? I'm fine. Good. What do you think of it? Oh, I think it's cool. Yeah, it is cool, isn't it? Yeah, he, he knocked it out of the park. You asked for one bad interior, that's what you got. Yeah. Took a little time, but you gave him time this, on did. this one. And, you know, I, I don't have nothing to do that first year with a car. I don't like a lot finishing it, really, so. Right. I got plenty of time. How long do you think it'll take you to finish it once you get it back? Oh, I mean, if I get to work on it straight through, you know, a couple of weeks, three weeks, something like that. Cool. Well, I'll get back to you and have you tell me a little bit about the car, but Steve, tell me, uh, how'd the interior turn out? Well, come here and take it out. I think it turned out pretty cool looking. Wow. His wife wanted red interior. Right. And he put stripes on the car, so we tried to incorporate the stripes in, the, in with red. But to do that, you can't do all red, so you have to put a little bit of gray in it so that the red stripe will show up. So right. We uh, we matched up the the gray leather with the, with the car, and then... If you look at it, it looks like a red interior. You know, if you, if it you does look, look at, like a red interior, you're But right. it's got just enough gray in it to pop the red out in the stripes. Right. So if you notice on the dash, the stripes come down to that drop panel right there, and we oh, yeah. sort of roll it around and where it looks like it starts somewhere. And the same thing with the headliner. We put a red stripe, double stripe in it to match when you, when, with the hood, the top, the deck lid, and all that stuff. It goes right back. But then when you look at it, you really don't see the stripes, but it's got stripes in it. So That's right. Try to make something to where it would complement the car. Boy, I love them gauges. Just enough carbon fiber in an old school hot rod to bring it modern, you know, to make it look cool. Mm -hmm. And it's got power seats in it. And you say that's hydroforming that you had done on that. Is that hydroforming on that carbon fiber? Yeah. yeah. Very cool. And these are seats out of a GTO is what they started as? Correct. Yeah. yeah, but you've the modified front seats, those. Back yeah, seats yeah. were handmade, those. Yeah, that back seat's all custom. Mm -hmm. Now, all the carbon fiber panels that he used in the interior, all that's real carbon fiber. Real carbon fiber, yeah. right. Real cheap carbon fiber. The pieces on the seats is hyper built because they just built the pieces that was on them. Right. Very cool. ZZ57. ZZ57, yeah, all those are custom made too for the car. Does that have to do with the motor, or are you a ZZ Top fan? No, I just uh, had to come up with something different from everybody else. With right. Car, so we just, that just kind of came up, and that's what we decided to go with. I like it. It's cool, man. So on this one right here, you just want to take it to the World of Wheels and some of the indoor shows. We Underneath the bottom, we cover all this stuff up underneath here on both sides. Oh, yeah. That way, when you look in, you know, everything's, right, you everything's all that. hidden and cleaned up. It's got automatic door poppers. Yeah, is that does. what those sensors are for at the front? See what it looks like with the lights on. And then the con put lights in the consoles. Right. Very cool. And are those power windows? No, they're they're manual. Isn't that cool? Manual windows have become cool now. Yeah, everybody. And an old school hot rod, everybody wants to put the manual windows right. back in it. And we incorporated the stripe in with the. Right. When you, but when you stand back and look at it, the stripe just sort of flows in with the rest of the car. That's but then right. you really don't really see the stripes. It's just. You it's almost don't muscle. recognize it's part of the interior. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then what do you got, gas tank here? Yeah, he's got a gas tank in here. And then. That panel back here is removable. It's battery and uh, radio and stuff back here. And then there's remote for the back, uh, radios up there in the console. Oh, okay. Did you check it? Did you show everybody where the shifter was at? I was getting ready to get to that. Check it out. No shifter in the car. That's right. Usually Nothing on the column. Or on the column. Nothing in the console. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> there's a pad in the console. Very cool. All touch button. And then that dial is the uh, radio. Remote for the radio, yeah. Is there something under that panel where the shifter should be? Yeah, actually, you can lift this panel up. It unsnaps, and his uh, 
fuse panel is back behind this. Oh, wow. So we tried to fix this where if it did blow a fuse, right. you didn't have to take the whole console out. Right. You just pop this out, change your fuse, and pop that back in place. And then we made a slide door for it so you can shut all that and hide it. Right. Very cool. Put your carbon fiber in the back a little bit. And you'll blend it all in. Mm-hmm. Wow. And I love the uh, bash in the back. See how this, we sort of rounded that off. It's got the speakers right here with the grill. Right. And then incorporated the red where it looks like it just rolls right out the back of the car. Right on. Very cool. So what we try to do is blend everything to where it just all flows. You right, know? right. Everything looks good together. And it made sense not to carry it to the other side of the speaker because it looks like it goes up the roof. Yeah. Yeah, it actually, it actually does. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, and had you taken it to the other side of the speaker, it wouldn't have given it that effect. Yeah, there's nowhere to stop it. I mean, you'd, It would have looked like it ran through the car. Yeah. And this way, it looks like it runs over the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very cool. No, I think you rocked it, brother. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, I think you rocked it. I can't wait to see how this does at World of Wheels. Yeah, that'd be cool. It'll all be finished at the World of Wheels hood. Right. Put everything on displayed, so that'll be a good shot, too. Get some steels there or something. Yeah. Now, Campbell, you said you did all this work yourself. Yeah, I did everything with the upholstery pretty much in the final paint. I got a guy helping with the final paint. It's really taking so long to build one. How long did it take you to build this one? Yeah, this is going on the fourth year on this car. Well, that's not too bad for a yeah, guy I'm doing it at his house. My business is a little slow, so I've got a lot of time to work on it. Right. Well, you sell golf carts, support. right? Yeah, I'm in the golf cart, custom golf cart business, but it's, with the economy, it's slow like everything else. I got you. Now, my wife supports me 100%, so that's the most important thing. What's she sell? Uh, she works for a car dealership. Oh. She's a title clerk and does books for two uh, car Like dealership. a comptroller. Yeah, she, uh, she worked for GMC for several years, and they went out of business a few years ago, and she, they called her and wanted her to do this. Two lots that they got, so she does those and works four days a week. So she's been around the hot rod stuff all and supported me when I was racing. And uh, you know, without her support, I couldn't do it. I got you. Tell me now, you've made some modifications to this car. Tell me some of the things that you've done to it. Yeah, there's a lot of subtle mod modifications done on this car. You know, whatever we've done it, we've welded everything up in the dash and done away with all the all the heater ducts and. Uh, heater controls and the switch holes and all that stuff because we incorporated it in. We put the switch, the ignition switch and all actually in the glove box and the air conditioner control and all. And then that stripe runs that glove box and see that too. That's very cool. <coughs> yeah, we followed the stripes all the way over to, into the glove box. We did the stripes where I could right? and uh, make them follow the theme and then I kind of left it to Steve to kind of Make it look right. So. Tie it all together. <laughs> he done a good job putting them all back together. It's got LED and all on it. Whenever you open the door, the LED comes on. Now, what size rear tires are those? They're, 15, they're 20 by 15s, and they're on a 20 by 14 inch wheel. 14 inch backset. wheel. Holy smokes. And who makes them? Coys. Oh, okay. And they're chrome. Yeah, no, those are beautiful. Those are very cool. These panels here on the fins, we welded all this stuff together. We actually shortened this one. This was a Bel Air, and it was long, and we ended up shortening them up. And, uh, and welded, welded all this stuff up and replated all it. And we're done on both sides. The 57, people don't know, it's a gas door actually works here where you put fuel in the car. So was that we one, done away with all that. It actually had a gas door, and you welded all mm -hmm. that? No kidding. Yeah. Wow. And they're also spliced here, too. No. You did all that yourself? Yeah. Yeah. And you did something to that rear bumper? Made the bumper all one piece. Uh, they do offer a one piece front now, but welded the nuts in it, did away with the license plate light, welded all these ends in. I think I shipped it back to the plater three or four times before he really got it right, but we had a problem with the chrome sucking into the corners of it mm -hmm. because it was so blunt. We had to lay pieces in it, and I had to grind them back down. How many? You said you had, what, 100 hours in a bumper? At least. Holy at least. smokes. Two and a half weeks just in a bumper. Yeah, grinding and welding and grinding. It was just an endless deal. 
shaved the door handles off of the car. Right. We ended up actually putting two quarter panels. We put two rocker panels and the trunk panel in the car when we started on it. And the front, we got some custom headlight bases made in it with LED projection lights in it. We moved the the fin, the top fin on the fender. We moved it back, and the headlight basil was just smooth across the front. We've actually got a new grill. We didn't like the grill that I made for it, so I've actually got a carbon fiber grill made for it now with the running lights in. Front bumpers all one piece. Firewall was all redone, and smooth and all. Right. I built the chassis on the car. I used the front clip from Street Rod Garage and then used the original frame rail, about three foot of them, and then I built the back and four length the back. Now used a nine eight four to in the rear. And this is a steel car. Oh yes, it's yeah. all steel. I've got several fiberglass cars. This is one of the few steel cars right. I've got. So. And then you're running an LS1 in it. Have you done anything to that motor? No, we just tweaked it, done the computer, and put a throttle body and then take over. Yeah. Did you dyno it? We've done away with the windshield wipers. Windshield wipers. Yeah. That's what they make rain eggs for. So. That's right, right. Well, I don't think it's going to spend a lot of time. That's not going to be running a lot. My wife's threatened to take the grandbabies to Florida in it already, so. Who knows? We're gonna drive it some. We're gonna show it a while. We're gonna drive it some. How many hot rods do you have? Uh, I got five right now. Yeah. And uh, the speed star that you shot at World Wheels last year, I sold it to a nice gentleman up in, in uh, New Jersey. New Jersey, and he's. I talked to him actually, and made sure he didn't have no storm damage, and he was fine. But it went up there, and I'm uh, talked to him. He's actually driving that car quite a bit now. Wow, cool. Several miles. And I got a 55 Chevrolet and a 62 Pro Street truck. And I got too many vehicles, to be honest with you. But oh, we yeah. enjoy them. We got a climate control building, a big 40 by 60 building we keep them in. So it's easier to keep them up that way. Now, if people want to see this car in person, where will they be able to do it? You're going to tour this car that's yeah, coming here. Yeah, we're going to do the World of Wheels. So we'll probably do Birmingham, Chattanooga, maybe a Super Chevy. Uh, probably a Shades of the Past next year, Grand Run. And we, we've got kind of a tentative schedule, man, or sit down and done. We've got eight, nine shows, something like that. We so you're going to do the Super Chevy up here in Pigeon Forge? Probably Memphis. Memphis. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think they're going to come back to Memphis this year. And I like Super Chevy shows. I've done them for years, and they used to have one at home at Montgomery. And, uh, but the nearest one is uh, Memphis, and I think we're going to try to carry it to you. Oh, okay. If they come back there this year, and I'm pretty sure they are. All right. And it's kind of an outside tent. We might go to a Carl Casper show in Louisville with this car this year. Okay. But the car, we do the indoor shows until it warms up some. Then right. We'll do some other stuff. Now, what do you do? You ever take it to like a local? Do you have local cruises down there here in yeah, Alabama? Yeah, I guess you do. Oh, uh, it kind of slacked off last year, and I've got other cars that I drive mostly to Lowe's. Right. I've got a truck and a, and a 32 Ford that we built to drive, and we do drive those cars quite a bit. Right. And normally with something local like it, we drive one of those. Cool. They kind of stay on ready all the time. So right, right. Like <laughs> I got you. Well, brother, I can't wait to see this one's finished. I'm going to come up to uh, World of Wheels in Chattanooga, catch up with you there. Cool. Yeah, we'll be there. And uh, see what the final massage is. The hood pretty much stock. Obviously, it's painted and got stripes and all that. But did you make any changes to that? <clears throat> well, you know, I just kind of built it the way I wanted to build it. Right. And, Raced all my life, so I kind of like the high performance end of it or the pro street end of it. Uh, this car probably being one of those comp classes of some kind, I don't want it to be in. Right. I don't know until we get there, but just whatever it goes in, just be fine. Now, everybody always asks me, what color is this? This is a PT Cruiser Pewter that I've used. I've used this color on uh, three, three or four cars. And then this red is a custom mixed red. And I got a friend of mine that does the chassis. He powder coats my chassis for me. Right. He's a local guy that does all my powder coats. And the problem with that was we, when we powder coated the chassis, he just had an industrial red that he used. And we went to PPG, and I got an account there to work with those guys. And we couldn't figure, we couldn't really come up with a color, exactly the color of that. So they end up formulating this red that's on the car. Oh, okay. So I've used that red on... Oh, I don't know, five or six cars. The Speed Star was all red, and it was that color. 
Does it's it have a name? Industrial Red. Industrial Red. <laughs> and it's a PPG product. It's a PPG color. And uh, I got a formula on it. And it's, it's just a little different from the typical reds. The Chevrolet's got the torch red and the Victor red, but it's just... It's just well, all red. reds look the same until you put them next to each other. That's exactly and then they all, then they all have a different... They look dark or yeah. they look orange. Or right, right. Different colors until you put them close to each other. That's right. Our brother, we, even got the, we even got the stripes and the roll pans, and we had to alter the pan for the radiator. And then we, we've even got stripes on the back side of the bumpers. Under the car? The bottom side of this pan has got stripes under it. Wow. Fuel tank's got stripes on it. We, we kind of carried the, carried the stripes to an extreme. I guess, yeah. I guess when we get to uh, World of Wheels, you'll have it up in the air with mirrors or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it'll be on stands, and they'll have mirrors on okay. it. Okay. So you'll be able to see something. Cool. Brother, I think this one is, uh, I shoot a lot of the Tri-Fives, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But I, I like this one as much as I like any of them. And I can't wait. I mean, you you said you put uh, the high HID lights in the front? Yeah, the projection right. LED lights. Oh, uh, okay. So they're round? Uh, yeah, they're the original size, but they got center, got two LEDs in the center. Of right. Those. Wow, that's going to be cool. But Man. It's, it's, uh, Never seen them in a the car, so I, actually they were made for Hardy Davidson motorcycle aftermarket piece. Right. So that's, and then you then you custom made them to fit this car. You must have a heck of a shop at the house. Yeah, I've got a pretty nice shop. It's about six thousand square foot. Holy cow! I work by myself in it, so <laughs> I'm the one that's responsible for cleaning it up. So. Right, right. <laughs> well, brother, I love your hot rod, man. That's very cool. Well, we appreciate it. I hope everybody else likes it. I just, you know, everybody's not gonna like it because it's a little more over the top than traditional. But that's just kind of the way I do. You can't make any, you can't make everybody happy no, no matter what you do. No, and I just hope they appreciate the work that you're doing. Right. You know, it's not a right or wrong in this business, and you just do what you like. That's right. That's what hot riding's about: is being exactly. unique and doing it the way you like. That's just because I don't like it or you don't like something. You know, you can't bang somebody because that's what they built. Exactly. You know, it's got to be cool. Yeah. So, now again, brother, I always, I always want to shoot whatever cars you got because you've got some cool, cool hot rods. So, anyways, I look forward to running to you uh, at the World of Wheels in Chattanooga okay. and catching up with you. There. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Campbell. Appreciate it. Steve, rocked another one, brother. Thanks, guys. Appreciate another, it. Another happy customer, another cool hot rod on the streets. Yeah, yeah. We love them. Cool. Well, brother, um, like I said, did a hell of a job. Thank you. So, anyways, there you go. There's Campbell's 57 from uh, Steve Holcomb, Pro Auto Custom Interiors. <laughs> Hope you all have enjoyed it. Get out and see this one. Like I said, uh, Mr. Campbell told us where you can see it at. Probably going to be at some other car shows, but uh, almost guaranteed it will be at those World of Wheel shows. So, if you uh, if you get a chance, get out and see it live. This stuff's always much cooler in person than it is. Uh, I mean, come on now. It's cool on Scotty DTV. Don't get me wrong. But... It's like anything in person. You get to, uh, you know, look at it a little closer. You can actually, uh, you know, see some things you may not on video. So, anyways, hope you all have enjoyed it. Have a good day. See ya.